Mental Fox here with more Fallout 76. Thanks for joining me again. We're just outside of, what's this place called? This place is called Mononga Power Substation MZ-03. We looked at this thing in the last episode and we cleared it out, but uh, there are some dudes down here. Again, at least there were just a second ago. Interesting. Uh, so I really don't want to clear that place out again. What I want to do in this episode is uh, go into Big Bend Tunnel West. Uh, at the end of the last episode, we saw that uh, there's some people to rescue in here. So I want to go ahead and do that in this episode. And I don't know how long it's going to take to do that. For some reason, I'm thinking this is going to take longer than one episode to do. Because this place seems pretty big. I mean, here's Big, Bun big Bend Tunnel East. I don't know... I don't know, does this go all the way from here to here? I'm gonna have to think that there's gotta be a cave in that's gonna prevent me from walking underground all the way from over here to over here, but we'll f we're gonna find out. Whoa, something. Oh, oh, golly. Dude, you're freaking me out, man. Here's somebody come rushing up next to me. Korea Rice Box, level 329. Holy cow, man. Good grief, what is he doing? And there he goes. He's got that marsupial thing going on, I guess. Level 329. Good grief. <laughs> anyway. Um, so anyway, what I was saying was this episode we're going to go in here. And um, we're going to see what there is to see in here. And then... Well, we'll see how long it takes. But I've gotten a lot of uh, suggestions on new weapons I could craft... Uh, maybe different strategies I could try, stuff like that. And I do want to try those, but uh, since we're right here by this place, we're going to go ahead and go into here in this episode, and then in a future episode, we'll try uh, some other things. Maybe try to craft some weapons. Uh, a lot of people are suggesting that I go visit other camps to look for legendary weapons. Uh, other people are suggesting that I um, do other things that escape me right this moment but um you know i listen to you i do i really do uh miscellaneous search big bend tunnel for survivors that's what we're gonna do here now remember when we were up there in the last episode we were looking down in here and we saw a bunch of baddies down in here uh would it be cool if that level 329 guy just came from here and already cleared everybody out that would be awesome what i would be happy with that uh, looks like one of the survivors are down there. Ooh, a Scorched Conqueror, level 68. Holy cow, man. Well, it's cool to do that much damage to him. I mean, level 68. Mamma mia. So, that makes me think that, you know, this level 320-something guy was over here. And that's why these high, very high-level enemies have spawned. I could be wrong about that. But thankfully, from up here, whoa. From up here, with my sneak bonus, doing pretty good amount of damage to him. Oh gosh, there's a... I missed him. Hold still, dude. Okay, he's dead. Am I crouched? I am crouched. Okay, well... Here they come. They are coming up... Oh, I'm over encumbered now. Come up around the bend here. I suppose that I could go on this either side of this bridge and I could... Funnel them on this bridge. If they are coming across this way. Okay. I think that was a critical hit think, I don't know, I pressed my space bar, huh? I don't know, man. I gotta clear these guys out before I go down here. These are some high-level dudes. Oh, this guy. He's pretty high-level. Oh, here comes another one. Golly, all these... I must be out of action points. Oh, I hit him right in the head. <laughs> there he goes. All right. Well, I'm not having too much trouble with these high-level dudes. It's pretty exciting. Pretty exciting indeed. 
Let's uh, let's get a different vantage point here and see if there's any other ones down here waiting for me. Yeah, much to my surprise, it's pretty quiet. Search Big Bend Tunnel for survivors. Uh, that guy does not look like a survivor. He just, he's looking pretty dead to me. Looking pretty dead. I just feel like there's going to be more scorched down here. I'm also wondering what's the best way to get down here from up here. Let me go ahead and walk around this way, see how this goes. Something rumbling off in the distance. So, it's a camp here. Whenever I see something built up like this, I think of raiders, but it doesn't necessarily mean that raiders built this. I don't see any heads on sticks. Well, although I do see this business. So maybe this was a raider camp at some point. Could have been super mutants, maybe. I don't know. You hear that off in the distance? Just very, very faint. Over in this direction. Could be good, something going on in Lewisburg. There's always crap going on in Lewisburg. Might be what we're hearing. Uh, mole miner gauntlet. Uh, let's unlock this toolbox. Always the excitement of unlocking things. Ooh, that's my favorite kind of lock right there. Uh, I think somebody in the comments told me that there is, or there are, benches inside of this mine. Or this tunnel, it's not a mine. So, that's cool, that's good, because I'm gonna need them, I'm over encumbered. We're gonna need, need to do some scrapping. Don't need the hunting rifle. And if worse comes to, there's a bench right there. Worse comes to worse, I could always, uh, equip my power armor, which gives me carry boost there's like canned dog food underneath of this bed and what's weird is that I really can't get to it it's weird to me I think one time in the game there was a note or something underneath of a pillow and ever since then I picked up pillows because I think hey there might be something underneath that pillow that's, that's the sound I make in my head. The voice I make. Clean globe. Whew, I've been looking for one of those, man. I'm tired of using this dirty globe. What do you use bubblegum for? Does anybody use bubblegum? Oh, there's our... Uh... Oh. Interesting. Maybe we can't go in there at all. <laughs> I was thinking we were going to enter that place, but maybe you can't at all. Maybe this is it. Okay. Huh. I don't know if I'm disappointed or relieved. I really don't know. Huh. Buff out, oil can, antifreeze, pack of duct tape, jackpots, handmade glue, hell yeah. Well, here is a tinker's bench. Scrappity scrap. Uh, I'm gonna scrap some of these extra weapons that I don't need. Well, sadly, we didn't learn anything. I didn't learn crap, man. Didn't learn crap. Wow, we got our weight way down. That's pretty cool. How am I doing um, with ammo? Got 272 ammo for this thing. And then um, for this, I got over a thousand. But 272 doesn't sound like enough to me. Um, so I'm wondering if I should craft more ammo for this thing. This is the weapon that uses um, 0. 0.50. <laughs> I don't know what to call this stuff. 50 caliber? No. 50 caliber is huge. 
I don't know what you call that. Anyway, 0 .50 ammo. I've only got 277 of it. So that makes me think that maybe I should craft some more of it. Uh, but before I do that, we need to go in here and uh, equip my... Um, my um, things that let me make more ammo, which I thought... I thought it was one of these, agility or intelligence. There we go. Produce 80% more rounds when crafting ammunition. So, um, yeah, let me go back. All right, go here, go back. Uh, we'll take sneak off. We'll put this on and um, we'll craft some ammo. Craft ammo. There we go. Fifty rounds times one eighty times one eighty. That is a lot of ammo we just crafted. That is crazy the amount of ammo we just crafted right there. That's a lot of ammo. Now we're up to 992. <laughs> That'll last us a while. <laughs> uh, so let's go back into here. Remove uh, Ammo Smith and re equip Sneak. Yeah, that'll work, right? Okay. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. What is that thing? A sensor module? Okay. All right, let's. Um Let's keep walking around here. Man. I walked right past that stinking table. I didn't even see that stuff. <sighs> Whatever. It's scrapped now. Let's keep checking this place out, man. Some stairs here. We go down here. Machine gun turret. Well, there was a machine gun tur turret here once upon a time. I didn't take it out. Somebody did. I didn't do it. Uh, I'm, I'm okay with that. That's interesting, though. Did I take this out? If I didn't take it out, why was I able to loot it? Right? You can only loot the things that you take out yourself, right? So I must have taken that out without realizing it. I don't know, man. Tell me if I'm wrong one of those things where somebody will leave a comment and I'll be like, what are they talking about? <laughs> uh, here we go. Ooh, recipe. Well, we already know that. That's okay. Sugar. What do you use sugar for? Anybody use sugar for anything? Why do I want sugar? Um, hey, look. Blackberry juice. Look at that. Yeah. Boiled water. Blackberry juice. Fantastic. And in here, slot number five, I like to put in my blackberry juice. Can't get enough wood. Big explosions coming from that direction. What's in that direction? Over here. I don't, oh, there's that uh, dude's camp, that level 329 guy that we just saw. He's His camp is over here. I thought I heard something moving. Oh, here's an armor workbench. Let's see if any of our armor needs to be repaired. That's pretty good. Eh, it's pretty decent. Pretty decent stuff. Pretty decent condition. Weird. A shadow going up the wall there. As I walk. Weird. <laughs> Alright. So I guess these people were probably trying to run to get into the tunnel. Trying to get away from a Scorch Beast, perhaps. They didn't make it. They didn't make it. 
And now they're petrified. Did I look up here? Um, I guess I did. Knuckles. Nothing from this guy. These are some high-level dudes, and I'm not getting anything good from them. Sucks. He's got a few things. Oh, he's got quite a few things. Pick all that crap up. Why not? Why not? I ask you. Stupid Scorched Conquerors. Give me no goodies. Here is Sergeant Alamein. Oh. Oh, it looks like maybe we can go in there. Okay, it's going to be one of those instant transition ones, I bet you. Alamein's code. Orders from Melody. Grape. Mentats. Pre-war money. Orders. Orders from Melody. One, meet up at checkpoint near Big Bend Tunnel West. Two, assault team charges in and pushes back the scorched. Three, demo team sets charges. Four, get out of there and blow the tunnel. Five, if things go pear-shaped, evacuate the tunnels. I want to guess that things went pear-shaped. Alamein's code, Sergeant Alamein. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Your code phrase for the master terminal is smoker boy. Yes, I'm telling you to kick the habit. Don't you got enough nasty going into your lungs, Melody? Okay. Fire breather schematics code support added. Okay, whatever the hell that is. Here is a fire breather here. Ooh, here's some uh, frag grenades. Frag mines. Just kind of hanging out here. Here is another fire breather. And it looks like we're going in, ladies and gentlemen. Look at all these. Holy hell, man. Man, I'm glad they didn't detonate. Jeez. That could have been really bad. Well, now that the sun's coming up, we're going into Big Bend Tunnel. Here we go. You know, I, I like exploring during the day because I think the game world looks a lot better so I kind of hate that I'm going into a tunnel right when the sun's coming up but oh well this is a cool looking tunnel so we're going to stay crouched here I'm going to get a little bit of food while I'm thinking about it before it becomes an emergency kind of thing um I have some death claw steak and some glowing meat steak should probably eat some of this stuff before it goes bad huh I don't know, let's eat the Deathclaw steak. Sure, why not? Okay. We're not hungry anymore. Here's another fire breather. You know that there's going to be a bunch of Scorched in here, right? I would imagine. Uh, scattered journal page number six. Spring 2097. This will be my last entry. I'm pinned in these damned tunnels and the scorched are coming. Yesterday, two men and a woman came to the camp looking panicked. We recognized them. They were with us at Pleasant Valley. We thought they were crying wolf, get us to lower our guns so they could ambush us, but I could tell they were genuinely frightened. Between the sobs, they managed to tell us that scorched had reached the mountains and killed most of the remaining survivors. We had a few hours at best before they reached us. We didn't even have time to figure out where we'd go when they attacked. There's just too many. Once they pushed us back into the tunnels, I knew it was over. Scorched had been making their way further into the tunnels for months now. I always knew that this wouldn't last. I'd been evading my comeuppance for too long. Sooner or later, I'd pay for what I've done. To see everyone I've cared about be killed and torn to pieces, it's the worst feeling I can imagine, but I can't say I don't deserve it. All these years, I wondered if it was possible to come back. If people could, could come back from the horrible things we've done. If I could come back from the horrible things I've done. For a couple of years there, I started to believe maybe it was. But it isn't. I can't come back from the things I did as a cutthroat. Humanity can't come back from nuking ourselves to hell. And now it seems we're all going to die as a result of it. The rest of the world are laying in beds they made. 
I guess it's time I do the same. Well, this is a raider. Well, yeah, she, she was talking about being a cutthroat. Stinking raiders. You know how I feel about raiders. Um, well, let's keep going. Check this place out, man. See what there is to see. Get in, get out. A plan for a fire axe. Yippee. Uh, notes. Scroll down to plans. Go ahead and read it right now. Get the weight out of our inventory. Plan for fire axe. Plan for modern couches. Ooh, I can't wait to build those. And we haven't picked up a recipe in a while. At least one that we don't know. I have a feeling that things are going to turn pear-shaped quite suddenly in here. Scorched Zealot. Look at them all down there. Shoot him in the butt. Shoot him in the crotch. It's kind of scary. What the... It sounded like there was one right next to me. Golly, man. This creeped me out. Didn't it sound like it was right next to me? Did you hear that? Well, we leveled up. What am I hearing? There must be uh, another tunnel or something over there. It's creeping me out, man. Golly. Creeping me out. Getting the heebie-jeebies over here. I don't like it. I know one of them's still alive down here. We saw him. Caution, it says. Aha. Uh -huh. Here we go. There is another tunnel. And they are over here. Gosh. Oh! This place is huge, man. This place is huge. It's a big freaking place, man. I love this sneak attack bonus. It's freaking awesome. It's good stuff, man. <laughs> Sounds like he hurt himself. Fridge door open. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh gosh, man. Run or be found. That's scary. I don't know if I've ever heard one of them say that. What was that? Something just kind of like... Whoa. Oh, okay. Well, I guess these guys are already turning into meat piles. Yeah, that's right. Level 54 dude down there. Digging it, man. Digging this weapon. Digging this sneaking approach. I like it, man. I do. I like it. Oh my gosh. Oh. Another fridge door. This place is freaking huge, man. I'm going to get lost in here. Of course I say that every time I go into one of these places. But, oh, interesting. I'm not going to waste. See, this is what I don't understand. I'm at critical, right? I don't want to use a critical on a glowing rad roach. So I go ahead and shoot him. Right? And then I believe the next thing I target, my critical will be gone. So I don't understand the critical at all. It's like, use it or lose it, and it's just like, I don't know. 
You gotta keep track? I don't I don't understand it. I do not want to drink dirty water. Oh gosh, it's getting deep. Uh nope, I still have the critical. Okay. Huh. Well that time I did. Let's go ahead and take some rad X. Since I'm walking around in this nasty ass water. We'll go ahead and take some rad away while we're at it too. It's getting pretty bad done in here. This is weird. I've probably mentioned this before, but I'm making absolutely no sound walking about in this water. Should be some sloshing or something, man. Give me some sloshing sound effects. Come on. Security gate. I could unlock this this thing. Dog on it. Yay. Enhanced targeting card. Alright. I'll take it. Look how fast I'm moving. Because I'm just so used to crouching that standing up and moving seems fast now. Uh, came all the way down here for some rounds. Okay, that's cool. So, we got this little side tunnel over here. Let's get back to crouching so I can do some sneaking. It's a very important part of my strategy, don't you know? Let's see where this takes us. So quiet. It's a little unnerving. Sledgehammer down here. I think I heard a footstep. Yep, I did. Somebody's walking around. Another scorched. What? What, he says. Is this caution? That's a lot of damage, man. What level is this weapon? I don't remember. This is a level 40 weapon, so I could I could make myself a level 50 weapon. Maybe I will. I don't know. Like I said, I've gotten some quite a few comments on suggestions on what weapons to make. Okay, let's see here. So we got our meat piles here. Um, trying to get my bearings. Make sure I don't skip anything. Okay, so there's... Wait a minute now. Okay, I'm... Getting confused. This is where we came... Oh, this is the... Oh yeah, okay. Alright, this is that tunnel with the water in it. Alright. So there should be an opening in that direction at some point. Yeah, right here. So this will take us back. That's where we came in. Then we've got this tunnel over here. This guy's like standing guard here. Hmm, okay, so we got a tunnel that goes down there. And then this one's a dead end. Up. Oh. Here in movement again. Uh, no, really nothing for me in here that I see. Okay, so we got somebody sloshing around in the water down here. I 
Oh boy. Look at this place, man. We're still, we're still searching the tunnel for survivors, by the way. I can't get up here. Okay, there we go. Here's a body. Just a regular old pipe weapon. There was one desperate dude come down in here with just a pipe weapon. I love it. Can't get enough of it. I know it's dark, but I'm purposely... What the hell? Purposely not turning on my light so that I stay hidden. That's my plan. I'm sticking to it. I think it's a pretty good plan. Okay, we're back here now. Either you know what I mean by back here or you don't. Hopefully you do, though. Some pipes up there, it looks like. Broken pipes. Some fungus growing out of them. That's a pretty nice touch there. Pretty neat. I like it. Okay. Back here in the main tunnel. Missile launcher. I don't want it. It's too heavy, man. I don't want to carry that damn thing. So... Looks like there was a camp set up down here. Pretty nice one, really. I'm going to turn on the light in here. Submachine gun. And I'm over encumbered. Here is Scattered Journal, page number four. Fall 2093. Things have been going better than I expected. The group scrounges up what we can find. We do a little farming. We get by. I keep in touch with the Brotherhood of Steel at Big Bend East. Their leader, Melissa, has been very generous to us. We'll trade with them, even though trading often ends with them giving us a shipment of supplies, and us handing them whatever few weapon parts or tech components we come across. Seems pretty one-sided, if you ask me. One trip, I asked her why her group is so nice to us, and she tells me they want to make sure my community is doing all right. I thought about that my whole walk home, a community, it's been over 10 years, and I still think of us as cutthroats hiding in a hole, waiting for the world to end. It made me hopeful. This life isn't the life I imagined while vacationing at Pleasant Valley all those years ago. It's quiet and lonely and difficult. But it's also simple, and it can be strangely more peaceful than the chaos of the old world. The life that me and my community have made is real. It's ours. I think I can be content with that. P.S. My Robco watch broke, though, so that's unfortunate. How am I going to keep track of time? It's easy to lose track in the tunnels, and the weather is too tumultuous to get a good sense of what season it is. That would be so weird, right? Cranberry moonshine. Interesting, but not interesting enough for me to take. Alright, we're turning the light back off because we're going back outside again. I don't want anybody to see me. Sharpshooter's Assault Rifle. Interesting. Let's take a look at that real quick. Sharpshooter's Assault Rifle. It's level 50. Uses 5.56 ammo, of which I have a lot. Does 49 damage with, e which, with each hit, I believe is what that's trying to tell me. My handmade, however, does 73 with each hit. Fire rate of 40. Fire rate of 40. It's the same. This thing... Yeah, this weapon I don't think is any better than what I've already got. It's cool that it's level 50, though. Makes me think that maybe I could upgrade it. But I don't know if I even want to, you know? Trying to keep an eye out for more of those journals. I like reading those. It's kind of cool. Learning about what was going on down here. <laughs> death Tambo. Been a while since we've seen one of those. Ultimately, I gave up the Death Tambo because I couldn't use it with um, power armor. Okay, so... I think that's the tunnel we just went through. I 
think. Golly. Yeah, I, I think I'm okay. I don't know, I could be wrong. I could be missing something. It's like an engine in there, motor for a car. Let's keep looking. Keep on moving. There's that uh, missile launcher. There's a little room we just explored. And this is beyond the little room. Warrior here. Is that a door? It is a door. Hmm. I'm trying to be thorough here. Make sure I see everything there is to see. Great, there's another side tunnel here. get it. Walked right into that. Walked right into that. Didn't even see him. What do you got? We are seriously over encumbered, but I'm not going to worry too much about it. Cat bowl. Okay. Uh, nothing in here. The notes are, um, they're easy to miss. I don't want to miss any of them, though. You know, I don't. Here's a duffel bag with some shotgun shells in it. See this? Can you... Can I get up there? Doesn't look like there's anything up there. Alright, let's keep going. Oh, there's a bench here in case you get tired and you can sit and rest for a minute. looking up here. Something on this? Oh, <laughs> man, I almost missed that. Scattered journal page number one, January 11th, 2083, 10 years before the last note we just found. I managed to find this half blank journal on my way out of Pleasant Valley, and I know writing this is probably pointless, but I guess I needed some place to explain myself. My name is Carol Sweeney, and I'm part of the Cutthroats in Pleasant Valley. Well, I was. I had to leave. What Thorpe did, flooding Charleston, that was just wrong. And I know I'm no better. For the most part, I went along with him. I was starving, and Thorpe kept me fed. But no more. A few of the other Cutthroats felt the same, and we all agreed to head out on our own. So now we're here. We used to hide around Big Ben's entrance and jump any unfortunate souls trying to use it for passage. It should be okay here. There's wilderness to live off and enough around to scavenge. If need be, we can disappear into the tunnels. Like I said, I don't expect whatever god there is, or anyone for that matter, to see this and forgive me. But maybe if I manage to just survive here and live out the rest of my life in peace, I can try to forgive myself. Good luck with that. Man, I almost missed that one. 
It's easy to miss them. Well, lead pipe. I remember I needed lead for something a while back. Uh-oh. Didn't quite get him. Probably because I wasn't uh, crouched. Maybe. Didn't get my sneak bonus, maybe. Ha 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 ha, you're dead. Stupid scorched. I see you down there. Still alive. Still alive. Nope, oh, they're still alive. Come on, step out of here so I get a better shot at you. Alright, I'll shoot you that way. Come on. Don't be shy. Come on now. Scorched controller? What's a controller? I don't know if I've ever seen one of those. Interesting. Yeah, come on down that tunnel, morons. <laughs> come on. Oh, this other one's trying to be smart. Ah, still alive, that one. Over here on this side. Oh, here he comes. Must have switched back over to that tunnel real quick. <laughs> Oh, I'm thirsty. Let's take some uh, blackberry juice, shall we? Doesn't look like there's anything on top of there for us. We found three of six notes, and I'm pretty sure the sixth note was the last one. I think it even mentioned it. Crouch back down again. Get my bonus, my sneak. I think we're gonna find more notes down there. What do you think? Oh, I heard movement. At least I think I did. This is a pretty neat place. Ah, oh, I picked up that dumb hunting rifle. I got nothing left to learn from hunting rifles, man. What the hell is that? Just a light shining on something, I guess. All kinds of goodies down here. All kinds. How far this goes, man. If I look at myself on the map now, still shows me right here. That's kind of lame. It's kind of lame. I was hoping it would like show me here or something, you know? No, it shows me there. Lame. Oh boy, it's opening up now. It's getting, uh, getting bigger, wider. More to explore. More places for enemies to hide. Oh. Oh boy. Oh gosh. It's freaking huge, man. Oh gosh. So we got this, this set of tracks over here. Got some walkways up here. Some doors here. Oh. Need a key to unlock this door. Interesting. Huh. Maybe we can get it up there. I'm not sure how to get up there yet. Like a freaking nightmare. Look at that. Straight out of hell, man. 
scary stuff. Well, maybe there'll be a bench here. I could do some scrapping, but uh, I think I'm even beyond scrapping right now. I think even even if, even if I scrap everything I've got, I'm still going to be over encumbered, I feel like. How do I get up there? Maybe from this way. Let's see. A stealth boy. I don't need that. A bench. Do some scrapping, man. Scrap all these weapons I've picked up. Standard glow sights. That's right. I scrapped it. so over encumbered, right? It's a lot of stuff. Cool, man. Another armor workbench. I need to find a uh, weapons workbench because I'm actually a little concerned about the health of this weapon that I use non-stop. Another door that we need a key to unlock. Another health stealth boy over here, too. Oh, I take it back. It's a battery. Oh, interesting. Probably can't climb in there, can I? There's a bubble head over there. Stop it. Don't like it when they do that. Where am I going to find this key, man? Need to find a key to get in here. Well, let's go this way. I know there's a tunnel over there too, but we're going to we're going to go this way. Look at that number climb. Two of them down there. Got to get my crouch on. No. Nope. Somebody's still shooting at me. Cool sound effects. The uh, bullet zipping past my head there. Pretty neat. Here's a door here too. Also requires a key. I know somebody else is down here. Another one. Come on. Keep running down the hall at me, Dodos. Come on. Keep doing it. There's a bunch of them down here. Bunch of dudes, man. This is a lot of work. This is a lot of work, and this sucks because I'm gonna have to end this episode here pretty soon. And there's no way I'm gonna finish exploring this place in the next few minutes. Scattered journal, page number two, November 13th, 2085. If anyone else ever reads this, they'd think I'd gone mad. But I don't know, or but I know what I saw, a giant goddamned bat in the sky. About two months ago, the crew began making scavenge runs through the tunnels. We've actually gotten pretty good at navigating through them, and more often than not, we'd end up with a good haul. But given enough time, you get sick of a diet of nothing but rat, so we thought we'd check out the eastern exit near Watoga, even though it's quite a hike. The first thing we see is the damn bat flying out of a hole in the ground like it's something straight out of an issue of astoundingly awesome tales. So I guess that ends our trips to Big Bend East. <laughs> that's pretty cool. So that's what, four of those journals we've found now? Uh, we're getting pretty radioactive over here. Let's go ahead and pop some rat X. I've got a bunch of it, so why not? So anyway, I was talking about I'm going to need to end this episode here pretty soon. And unfortunately, you know what that means. Uh, it means that uh, when I exit the game, the game's going to take me out of this tunnel 
and uh, it's going to put me outside the tunnel. I'm going to have to come back in here, fight my way back in here again. There are a bunch of these dudes in here, man. So I'm not too happy about that. No, sir, I'm not. And this place is freaking huge. There's a body here. She's down here trying to fight with a board. Must have been a hellish end. Right? Down here with nothing but a board. Huh, they made a uh, little outhouse in here. Kind of cool. I don't know why my light is flickering like that when I go to turn it off. I can't believe how big this place is, man. Found, found the clinic. Another scorched dude down here. Oh, I took my chances and I hit him. 30 something percent chance I hit him. Unfortunately, I've lost him. Another side tunnel there. Golly, man, this is like multiple hours. So who took out this turret? Look at this. Oh. Somebody's coming. Somebody's a coming. Somebody's coming, man. I'm scared. I'm scared, man. He's right outside. Quit making all that noise, damn you. Freaking me out, man. Shut up. You too. Hey, hey, I see you over there. I see you. Try to run away from me. Whoa. <laughs> I took off, man. <laughs> it's so funny. Sometimes it doesn't even look like my weapon's aiming at what I shoot at, and I get it anyway with that VATS. It's pretty cool. I feel like there might even be some behind me now. I looked in here, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Okay. Um, I think that's the tunnel we went in. Yeah. Okay, cool. It's easy to lose track. It is for me anyway. Might not be for you. I haven't forgotten about that tunnel to the right either way back there so this is where I was looking around when those dudes came running about I thought we'd find ourselves another node in here but didn't turn off my light So that note that we read talked about going all the way to the east end of the tunnel. Right? Is this that same place? Yeah, that's where the clinic was. Uh, so it makes it seem like we could ultimately come out the east end of this thing. Unfortunately, we have no idea how far into this place we are. That's a big group of them down here again, man. Six percent chance that wasn't smart. Golly, so many of them, man. There's another side tunnel over here I haven't been into. Huh, okay. Just a little side that goes nowhere. This one's running down this side.
right here. Right here. Shut it. Oh, here comes another one. Shut it. I got I ain't got the time or the patience for your crap. I hate that sound effect. I don't like it at all. Especially in a dark, scary place like this. It creeps me out, man. Get some canned dog food from that meat pile. Gosh, look at this place, man. It keeps going. It's pretty neat, though. That's really neat. It's more than pretty neat. It's really neat. But... When does it end? Now I'm like... Thinking that I've been in it for so long that maybe I can make it all the way to the east end. And then when I restart the episode, well... Be starting from the east end. So I'm seriously considering just making a run for it, but the problem is I can't run. I'm over encumbered. Let's see where this takes us. It's a bench over there. Look at all this stuff. Pretty neat camp here. So this is looking like what, maybe where the cutthroats hung out. Page number five. Summer 2095. Melissa's camp is empty. No note, nothing. Scorched or something must have killed them, right? I looked around the camp for a couple of hours. No bodies. It doesn't make sense. If they left, why did they leave their stuff? Wouldn't Melissa leave some message or clue? Did we actually matter to them? Whatever happened, without the Brotherhood around, without the Brotherhood around, Scorched have been wandering into the tunnels from the east. They're a lot more dangerous than the rats and dogs we usually encounter. I'm banning the crew from going to the eastern section of the tunnels and setting up a patrol. We don't know much in terms of organized combat, but we can rig enough traps to keep us safe for a long time. Even if it's back to being just us, we're still a community, and we have to look out for each other. So, there's, I think that's five of the six notes. So somewhere around here is one more note. Uh, okay, I'm no, I'm no longer over encumbered. Four people slept in here. Here's a weapons workbench. Cool. Can do a little bit of repairing. Oh, yeah, look at that. <laughs> uh, repair. Repair. Nice. Everything else is fine. Because this is really the only weapon that I use. It's so effective. Man. I have no idea how far it is to the east end of this place. No clue. None. That note mentioned the east end. Now she was telling people to stay away from the east end. It makes me think that we're actually not close to the east end at all. I kind of want to make a run for it. Just, just run for it, man. But then she also mentioned a bunch of traps. Which makes it seem like a dangerous thing to do. But I also don't want to have to go all the way back to the west end. Fight my way back through here again. When I start the next episode, so... Very tempted. Did I look at this? I did, didn't I? Yeah, okay. Very tempted to just... Just... Take off. Just run until I get to the other side. If I can get to the other side. And then, when we start the next episode, we'll be at the east entrance. 
come in that way explore from there it's tempting it is tempting and I've already been playing for over an hour I like to keep my episodes an hour long so you guys ready? Oh, maybe I found it. Could this be it? I found it. <laughs> we walked all the way through this damn tunnel, man. We walked all the way through it. Let's go on this side, just to be thorough. I have to think that that other note maybe is in that overhead walkway that we saw, or maybe behind those doors which require a key which I still haven't found. Well, let's unlock this. Pardon me. Okay, we made it. We made it to this end. So I'm going to go out this way. Probably get attacked by a Scorch Beast, but that's okay. I'm going to end the game anyway. Then when we come back in the next episode, well, we'll be at this end. And we'll just have to fight our way back in from this side, but that's okay. I guess. I don't know. Either way, this is at least another place that will be marked on the map as visited. So, it's kind of cool. You could walk all the way through that freaking tunnel, man. It's hardly a shortcut, though. Holy mother! That's, um... That's a lot of dudes. That is a lot of dudes. Uh, let's see, I've got this grenade. Nuka grenades. Ready? killed myself. <laughs> Damn it. I freaking killed myself. Oh, jeez. I killed myself. And I my my goodie bag is going to be full of stuff, man. Oh, jeez. What's going on here? Where's my goodie bag? Is it in this direction? Oh, boy. This is not good. How come I'm not seeing my goodie bag? My little skull symbol. Not seeing it at all. I think this episode just got a lot longer. Okay. I want my I gotta get my goodie bag, man. Well, I mean those scorched are dead. Right? That's one way to take them out. Here's my goodie bag. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, I'm going to end this episode right here. Damn it. I'm going to try to end this episode right here. <laughs> well, thanks for joining me, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I had a lot of fun going through Big Bun Tunnel. I hope you did, too. If you did, why don't you let me know? Leave me a like or a comment. Thank you so much for joining me. I sure hope you join me again in the next episode.